Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Yes, and court documents say before the deadly stabbing, the suspect was fighting with his wife, claiming he was afraid she would file for divorce and take his money. His stepdaughter, Angelina Tran, intervened, trying to save her mother, but it ultimately cost her life. Angelina would have started her last year of college right here at the University of Washington this fall. Honoring the life of Angelina Tran, her loved ones started a fundraiser to support the National Asian Pacific Center on Aging. Money raised will support her passion helping the elderly now that the young woman they cherished most is gone. Domestic violence homicides are extremely concerning. In the kitchen of the Seattle home is Nip Chow on August 7th, 2023. This is surveillance video obtained in a public records request from the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. It shows Chow's wife approaching him moments before police say he begins punching her at least 15 times in the face. This individual not only um, attacked his wife, but um, stabbed his stepdaughter multiple times, uh, resulting in her death. Chow is now charged for the death of Angelina, his stepdaughter, accused of stabbing her more than 100 times. The prosecutor's office says the murder was recorded on home surveillance cameras. The murder appeared to be the result of, of anger at his stepdaughter for intervening in the defendant's attack on her mother. On the morning of the attack, court documents say Angelina was awakened by the sounds of Chow beating her mother in the kitchen. Angelina grabbed her stepfather to intervene so her mother could escape and call for help. Court documents say investigators reviewed the surveillance video showing Chow grab a kitchen knife and repeatedly stab Angelina in the chest until she fell to the ground. Detectives say Chow continued stabbing Angelina even after she appeared lifeless. But the violence did not stop there. Court documents say Chow paused the attack several times, once to change clothes because of all the blood, then again to grab a meat cleaver and tried to find his wife who was hiding. Prosecutors say when police arrived to the home, Chow was still armed with a knife and admitted to officers that he intended to kill his wife if he had found her. Now locked up in King County Jail, a judge set his bail at $5 million. This individual uh, represented a danger to the community and a flight risk. Angelina was studying human-centered design and engineering at the University of Washington. She's remembered as a student involved in several research groups and peer support for community safety. A professor wrote in a statement, Angelina was passionate about designing for accessibility and inclusivity. She was a superb student and very enthusiastic about design research. I know she will be greatly missed. And court documents say Chow was in a relationship with Angelina's mother for 19 years, and she considered him as her father. Chow is scheduled for an arraignment at King County Court on August 31st. Reporting live in... Thanks for watching.
we appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.